ClearPath Operational Mode 9 Follow Digital Torque Command The Follow Digital Torque Command is the mode to use when you need to programmatically control motor torque rather than speed or position. To use this mode, you supply a frequency or PWM command signal that is proportional to your desired torque. These digital signals are more noise immune than analog command signals. To demo this feature, I'm using a function generator for the command signal, but most people will use a PLC or other inexpensive source. To set up this mode, connect ClearPath to the MSP software, and under the Mode menu, select Follow Digital Torque Command. As you can see, there are three options in this mode regarding the type of torque signal you can use. Bipolar PWM, Unipolar PWM, and Frequency. So to use this mode, first decide whether you'd like to vary your torque using changes in PWM duty cycle or changes in frequency. Frequency mode and Unipolar PWM mode work in a similar way. You have defined minimum and maximum frequencies or PWM duty cycles and they correspond to zero torque and your user-defined max torque, respectively. For unipolar PWM, the minimum and maximum duty cycles are fixed at 0% and 100%. For frequency, the minimum and maximum are user-defined. In both modes, the direction of the applied torque is set by turning input A on or off. ClearPath also has a bipolar PWM mode, where 0 PWM and 100% PWM correspond to max torque in opposite directions, and 50% means zero torque. Using a motor in torque mode can be tricky. If the load gives way when torque is applied, like if the web in a web processing system breaks, the motor can spin up to a dangerously high speed. ClearPath has a safety feature that detects when the motor speed is higher than desired and shuts down the system after a user-defined amount of time. I'll set it to shut down very quickly, 10 milliseconds after it starts to spin more than just a little bit, so if our web breaks, ClearPath will stop almost immediately. Fast Response and ClearPath's dynamic braking feature stop the motion before any danger or damage could occur. If you need continuously variable, programmatic control of velocity rather than torque, follow Digital Velocity command may be the right mode for you. If you need continuously variable velocity with manual control, watch the video on Manual Velocity Control Mode.